Only eight days remain before Kansas voters decide the closest Senate race in the country. Today, both candidates visited Johnson County. Our Garrett Hake joins us now in studio. Who was there? And Garrett, I guess Pat Roberts is showing off some big name reinforcements today. Yeah, Jayan, with so little time left, the margin of error for these campaigns drops to zero. Pat Roberts needs Republican voters to come home, and he needs them to do it now. Today, he lined up on stage with the state's top Republicans and one man he thinks can help him close this thing out. There we go. In a Senate race that parallels the World Series. Don't let the Red Sox see this. Today, Pat Roberts called in a veteran reliever looking for a few crucial outs. All right, Royals, go get them. That big arm would be Mitt Romney, top of the GOP ticket in 2012, who carried Kansas with 60% of the vote that year, and today threw high and tight at Roberts' opponent, independent Greg Orman. A vote for Greg Orman is a vote for Barack Obama, and America, America should not make that mistake three times. In an exclusive interview after the event, Romney argued that the three-term senator, not the challenger, was the candidate for change in Washington. People who are conservative are the people who are going to come out and vote and elect for change and finally get the kind of Republican leadership in Washington that we need. One 2012 Romney voter not swayed, Greg Orman. This is just, you know, sort of part of the traditional Washington playbook. We. Uh, you know, they're here trying to trying to preserve the status quo. Today in Shawnee, Orman hit back at Roberts over reports of the senator's poor attendance record in Washington. He's not, not attending committee meetings. He's not voting for Kansas, so he's, he's not representing Kansans. And thanked volunteers who call voters with the campaign's message this final week. You can't go to Washington and hide behind a party label. You actually have to roll up your sleeves and get things done. And the X factor in this race, and the hardest thing to track, continues to be all that outside money pouring into Kansas. The website OpenSecrets.org now tracks 29 different groups who have spent a total of $10.5 million in the state with plenty of time left to go. Reporting live, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.